I saw somebody selling itineraries for like twenty twenty five dollars. I wouldn't even hit him. I wouldn't even hit him up like that. Like. Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. Um, we just jumping off a new week. It's the middle of the week for me, but it's technically a new week because I took an extended weekend to host my friends. Came down from Connecticut. We had a a, a good old a good old good old fashion time. Okay, as you can see. Or as you can hear, my voice is getting real like jazz singer Tony Braxton. We went to an R&B day party, night party, halfway damn near was the club party type thing. And was taking our hearts out. So that's why I sound the way I sound. But we had a good time. Hopefully I've already posted a little bit from that. I just got the camera. So I feel like the transition of going from my phone to the camera was a little weird. And I wasn't able to like capture what I normally would. I don't know. I had to get used to it. Because it's like I have my phone. The camera is nice and small and compact. But it's just weird. I have to get used to it. So I haven't put that vlog together yet. But you'll see it before you see this. So hopefully it comes together cohesively. But it did make me feel like I really need to put together like my Orlando itinerary type thing that I want to share with people. I don't know how I want to share it. I'm not one of those like, girl, go out and get my ebook. But I feel like I put a lot of heart and information when I share into things, when I share them. So it's like, you know, I feel like I should get a little $5 or something for my little itinerary. I don't know. Y'all help me decide, like, how much would you pay for, like, a quick little, not quick, a, a detailed itinerary for a specific city. So, like, when you come to Orlando or Central Florida in general, how much would you pay to have information on where you should stay, eat, play, enjoy, have fun, whether it be a girl's trip, vacation, solo trip, whatever. And it would be something I would, like, continuously update to. So keep that in mind and drop me a comment below on what you think is a fair price for something like that i saw somebody selling itineraries for like 20 25 dollars i wouldn't even hit them i wouldn't even hit them up like that like i literally would probably do like eight bucks because eight is my favorite number but anyways enough of that we're back we're kicking off a new vlog thank you for everyone who has been sticking with me i've been trying to be as consistent as possible and now i have the camera so hopefully that will only increase um for now i really don't have much going on it's going to be a very chill weekend for me because i just had the friends trip and then next weekend, I have a family trip to Georgia. Um, so yeah, this upcoming weekend is going to be real chill. I'm going to be catching up on personal stuff, cleaning, um, getting organized. It's spring. Happy spring. It's officially spring. So spring cleaning, of course. And yeah, nothing too crazy. But for today, I did want to do a quick unboxing of the Coach Wallet. I mentioned it a few vlogs ago. I didn't have chance to. I didn't have a chance to go in the store in that particular vlog. But I've been back to Coach twice since then. The first time I went, they had the wallet, but they only had a display, and it was like twenty five dollars more expensive than it was online, which is very weird. The second time, I was able to pop in when I was with my friends, and they had it on display, but they actually had some in the back too. So I was able to get a fresh one. So it's a wallet on a chain. Um, if you know, I mean, I hate when people be like, if you know, you know, because probably only like two people know. But I am a type of person to throw a chain on any wallet because I either have a big old tote bag or just like a small wallet. I'm not really, I am a handbag person, but I just haven't. I'm not a big handbag person for day to day. So for like day to day, going to get my son from school, running errands, going in stores, I like to be hands free. I don't want nothing where I have to like you know, be paying attention to it. So I always throw, uh, I have this gold chain from Amazon. I always throw that on all my wallets. And I've done it previously, but like my Glamaholic wallet, I had a, a reel on Instagram that everybody was like, oh, where'd you get the, the chain from or whatever. I just added it to the wallet. So to have a wallet that's meant to be chained up is like perfect for me. But anyways, it's pink, it's cute. It has the gold brass. For the rest of the Coach Tabby collection, all of them have like the silver metal, which drives me crazy. This is one of the only pieces that has the brass, which is like the gold look. So I love it. Um, I'm going to unbox it with you guys. The price point online is $95. I think it's a fair price point. Coach is, you know, high quality leather. Is this leather? Let me double check if the item is actually leather. But, you know, I think it's worth the price point to have the chain. It's brass. Um, it's not overly branded. The only thing that I would probably change is sometimes on leather products, you know, they have that like fused lining and so the fused lining on this is black which i don't really care for but it is what it is it's really hard to find things where the fused lining i hope i'm saying the right term but you know that outer part that's actually what's falling apart on my current wallet but that part is black so that's probably the only thing i would change but let's unbox that um as you can see i got these eye patches on because i got bags i'm tired i'm so tired y'all i'm so tired like between picking the girls up from the airport, driving back and forth. We went all over. We went everywhere and ate everything, okay? That's my conclusion of the trip. 
So I'm just tired from like chauffeuring. I have no problem doing it, but it's it definitely wears me down because I'm not used to driving like that no more. So yeah, I got my eye patches on trying to get my face back together. Um, I did like some little cute throw my hair up updos for the weekend. So my hair actually survived pretty well. I've just been putting it in flexi rods, but I am looking forward to my hair appointment next week in Georgia to get a lot of this hair cut off. But without further ado, let's get into the unboxing of the Coach Wallet on a chain. All right, y'all. So this is called the Half Flap Card Case from Coach. Um, I was having a hard time finding it online when I was typing in Wallet on a chain. They, they don't call it that. But if you go to Wallet and then filter by color and just put pink, because I think this only comes in the pink. And then here's like the item information i don't know if that would be helpful but it's called bubblegum pink it's a really really pretty color this is their pink for like all the tabby items and i really love the color a lot so let's get her out she's so pretty she is gorgeous i love the brass so the chain is removable um here's the actually let me show you this Yep, so it's called the Half Flap Card Case, and the color is bubblegum. But the chain is removable. You can just unclip it like that. So let's take that off for a minute. This is actually, I want to pull that. Let me grab some scissors, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so let me clip this off. All right. Let's put the chain over here for now. Um, but look how pretty she is. This is what I was talking about, that fused lining on the edges. It's black, but again, I can live with it. All right, so this is why I like it. It's small, it's petite, but she has a little bit of organization going on. So, so we have a space back here. This will likely be for my ID and my most used card because it has easy access. And then even when you open her up, come on girl, she's a little stiff right now. When you open her up, there's another flap right here. So that's for extra cards and cash and anything like that that I want to make sure is secure. So as far as branding, we have the Coach C on the outside, really pretty in the brass. We have the Coach and Boss stamp on the inside. And then even like, I could have sworn I just saw something on one of these side pieces. Maybe I was imagining it. I thought there was some branding there, but there wasn't. Then we have a lot of space inside as well. So I think that's going to be good for lip gloss, AirPods, um, anything that I need to add to the inside that might be important for day to day. Okay, so it's very simple, but it's exactly what I was in need of. So I'm going to grab a couple items. Let me cut this tag off. I'm going to grab a couple items to start filling her up and seeing what all fits without stuffing her and then I'll also unwrap the um let me unwrap the chain for you too well this is actually pretty long so this is going to be a nice cross body length Mass hire from y'all. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right. So very nice crossbody length, and then you have the clips on each side. Uh oh. You have the clips on each side to add the chain back on. So cute. All right, let me get a few items so we can go ahead and fill her up and see what we can fit in there, okay? All right, so I just grabbed a few items that a, a lady might commonly have in her wallet. So first things first is my ID. So I'm gonna put that, like I said, back here for easy access. 
All right, so my ID is back here for easy access. Of course, this can go all the way down, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. And then I might put like one more card back there. I'm putting this random, just a random card so you can see. I wouldn't overfill this because I don't want it to become so stretched out. So two cards max right there. And then in that front part, sorry for all the chain noise. Let me take the chain back off so it's not like making a ton of noise while I'm trying to fill this thing up. Oh, see, I knew there was some, here it goes. I knew there was a little branding right here. Can y'all see that? Hold on, let me, let me wrench it around. It's a little hard to see, but there's some branding right there. It says coach. Um, if I was able to pull it out, you can see it better, but. All right, so we got our ID and one card in the back. Let's do um, a couple more cards and some cash in that front pocket. See how that fits. So this front pocket is a little more roomier. So that fits nicely without it being like too stretched out. All right, so now for the inside. I, again, I just grabbed some random items just to see what works. First things first, a panty liner. I just wanna see if that fits. So a panty liner does fit comfortably without getting crushed. So that's good to know. Then let's do AirPods. If you have the big old AirPods, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, they might fit, but you probably won't be able to fit nothing else. So that is panty liner and AirPods. Let me move this a little bit. So far, we still got a little bit of room left. Um, next, let's do, let's do the Fenty mini lip gloss. This is 0.203 ounces, like this is tiny. So I just want to see it like how that stands up. So this can go off to the side. Let me see if I could close it once I put that in. Yeah, that can go in like off to the side. And then I'll show you just like a regular chapstick shape. This is like a random chapstick from the dentist's office. Um, so standing up, yes, a regular chapstick can go in there and stand up, but that's likely not going to be the chapstick that I'm carrying. I also kind of want to see how it fares with a full lip gloss. This is a lot bigger. I don't think it's going to work out with the AirPods. Maybe if the AirPods weren't in here, let's see, let's take AirPods out. Sometimes you do need your, your you know, your popping lip gloss, so. Without the AirPods, this could definitely fit in at the bottom. And then you have space for some other stuff. But let's just say it's a day where I do need my AirPods. So we're gonna take that out, put the AirPods back in. And let's do, I'm gonna try this, um, this Glossier lip gloss. It's bigger than the first one. Is it smaller than the Fenty? Oh, it's actually just as tall as the Fenty, so this may not fit either with the AirPods, but I just wanna see how it fits the long way because this is something that I'm likely to be carrying. So we definitely wanna make sure. Girl, if you don't go ahead and um catch the item, see? Okay, there we go. Wanna make sure that this at least fits the long way. So yes, that fits very good the long way. So that's good. So let's just do like a little beauty bag. So if we don't have no AirPods, we need our lip gloss. Um, I brought a tiny little, where'd she go? A tiny little perfume sample. This is empty, but all right. So let's just say you have a tiny little fragrance, hopefully something with a cap on it, but a little spray fragrance or a roller ball or something. This one is empty, but again, this is just like a little test. So we can layer that on top. And then let's do a scrunchie. That's always important. And usually I have like this little tiny pot of La Mer um, moisturizer that I use for my hands. I don't know where it's at. So let's just, it's round, but let's just act like this is that. So we have a panty liner, three beauty items, and a scrunchie. And there's still like, if we needed to stick a piece of gum or candy or something in there, you will still have a little bit of space. So overall, I think this is a definitely a great grab and go size. Um, this is how it looks with all this stuff in it. So you can see a you can see an imprint of the lip gloss a bit right here. So I'm definitely pushing it with the glossy lip gloss, but that's just to give you an idea of how much stuff fits in it. Realistically, I would have.
some type of lip gloss, the AirPods. Probably wouldn't have a panty liner all the time, but. Come on out, girlfriend. Yeah, so I'm gonna always have the AirPods, some lip gloss. Let me do this one this way. And a scrunchie at least to tie my hair back. So yeah, for day to day, this is perfect for me. I think that she's so pretty and cute. Matches my girly pink aesthetic perfectly. And then of course, the wallet makes it super easy to take her on the go. So I'm happy that I was able to find this in store and confirm that it's something that I actually wanted. And I will be wearing this every single day until it falls apart, just like my other wallet. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am starving. I'm on my way to get some lunch. I'm going to Just Salad, never been there before, never even heard of it before the past couple months. One just opened near me, so I'm about to go check that out. I have a taste for like a Caesar, a chicken Caesar salad, so hopefully they are actually good. I saw they had wraps too. Mm, it's gonna be a first time experience, so I feel like I need to like stick with what I know. I don't want the wrap to be like real, real boneless, like I don't really got nothing in it. So we'll see, I'll see when I get there really a gorgeous day. I can't even lie. Alright, let's go up in here and see what the salads are saying. say I think I want to say that that was better than Cava but I think I'm only saying that because the first time I went to Cava the girl just was trying to make me feel stupid like well I don't know if she was trying she was making me feel stupid you know Cava is like you pick something from something it's kind of like fresh kitchen like you pick something from each category but it just wasn't very clear to me and then they didn't have certain stuff I just felt like she should have just been like oh is it your first time in this is how it works da 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 so the people in that place was nice. Like this girl was talking to me about my, you know, when you have the camera out, everybody's like, oh, you're making content. Um, so the people in there were more pleasant, cool things. They don't have like, it's very sustainable. So they don't have tops for the drinks. They have like a sealer. So I had to go back and get my drink sealed. And they gave me like a real bamboo straw. Like this is like a piece of bamboo. It's crazy. I don't know if I was supposed to give it back, but I didn't. Let's see how the drink is like sealed. There's no, there's no plastic lid on it and it feels like it's about to go ahead and melt so I'm at, I need to hurry up and drink this but I like it I'm gonna give it a uh I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because first of all the inside was nice and big like I could go in there and work I got a fajita bowl bomb had a big old scoop of guacamole and then they put some like spicy guac sauce on it and they asked you light medium or heavy and I said heavy so it's like they not stingy with the sauce I like it 
I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna finish the rest of my bowl when I get home and then I bought the reusable bowl because if you get that and then bring it back you save money or you get some more toppings or something and then the bowl is just cute for content purposes of course so yeah I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it five stars I liked it I'll be back to try some other stuff I didn't even get y'all see I didn't even get a chicken um, Caesar salad because I was like oh that's too boring y'all got options over here I got y'all got like corn and real fajita veggies and stuff let me go ahead and get a bowl <laughs> all right that's it for the day